Hello and welcome back to the Bourbon Bar. I'm Holden and today I'm going to be reviewing the New Riff Malted Rye. Now, New Riff Malted Rye is a bottled and bond product like all New Riff products are bottled and bond. I'm not sure if these are different releases um, every year. I know this one says uh, distilled in fall of 2015 and bottled in spring of 2022 and I think last batch that came out was uh, distilled in spring of 2015 and bottled in fall of 2021. That being said, I'm not exactly sure if this is a different kind of whiskey than was reviewed on um, Bourbon Junkies channel or Fred Minnick or any of those guys, but what I do know is I'm super excited to get into this. I did have a little pour of it when I first opened it after before I let it breathe and it was it was great stuff. Um, I know the Bourbon Junkies praised it and a lot of people praised it, but it's 100 proof, 50% alcohol, it is 100% malted rye in the mash bill. It's six years old and it is a sour mash. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring this into the glass. If you guys haven't checked out my Balboa rye video, uh, I'll put the card up in the corner. That is also a newer product, so it was bottled in bond, uh, but it was a 95% rye, about 95% Balboa rye and 5% malted rye. This is 100% malted rye, so I'm gonna guess that there's gonna be a little bit of malty flavor on this along with um, along with some of that good rye spice, and we're just gonna have to go ahead and figure it out. So, on the nose. So right away on the nose, I'm getting some vanilla, oak, on the surface. get some some like fresh bread <clears throat> I don't know like like if you walked into a bakery and someone was cooking like a loaf of of rye bread uh, it's just fresh fresh bread a little bit of cloves in there some sweetness there's definitely a, some kind of uh, sugary sweetness on this with the vanilla sugary almost like a vanilla frosting um, just kind of like a real sweet vanilla it's very interesting on the nose. It's a nice dark color, you guys can see. Um, it is six years old, which is their oldest age statement so far. And uh, it's a staple, and it's gonna be a staple in their lineup. So uh, if you guys haven't found a bottle, make sure you keep on the lookout. Uh, this looks like it's a spring batch of this year, and I'm assuming that uh, fall this year they will have another batch. So if you didn't get this one, make sure you keep your eye out for uh, fall's batch but I'm gonna go ahead and get on the palette on this one. Wow. That's interesting. It's very sweet. Um, it's, it's interesting compared to the Balboa rye that I had in my last review. This is much more Full bodied I would say um, you can definitely tell of that oak influence in the six-year age statement it's got a little bit of uh, freshly cracked pepper there's some of that clove baking spice um, notes in there with that freshly cracked black pepper it is it is a little bit of uh, sweetness in there as well and that oak is definitely pre pre prevalent it's like some kind of oak spice in it but not not astringent by any means. The mouthfeel on this is is pretty nice, um, and the malting process has a lot of adds a lot of roundness and complexity to this. Uh, but it it's just really it's really nice stuff. The finish is not too long, but it is it does leave a little bit of a Kentucky hug on the way down, which is also nice. I am getting some of that fresh cracked black pepper on the nose as well. Just just a little bit in the background, but it is there. It's kind of weird, the kind of flavors that you're getting with the the, the rye spiciness and then um, some of that sweetness, I think, is coming from the malt. And then the oakiness from it being, you know, six years old instead of uh, the typical, which I believe is four years. Um, it is, it's, 
it's really interesting and I really like it a lot. Wow, and it, the nose is definitely so sweet. Um, yeah, and that palette, lots of spice and freshly cracked black pepper. Um, there is some of that sweetness in there, almost like uh, confectioner sugar that you would get kind of, kind of from that vanilla frosting note that I was getting earlier. Um, the vanilla, it, it's there, but a little bit muted compared to the nose. Wow, that's good, that's good stuff. But I'm gonna let it sit for a minute, let it get some air in it, but this would be a wonderful time for you guys to hit the like button if you're enjoying this video so far, and also subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna be bringing you some more great content and more cocktails in the future. Also, if you haven't yet, check out my Patreon. The link will be down in the description. And also, go follow me on Instagram. The handle is thebourbonbar underscore on Instagram, so go check it out. All right, so this has had a chance to open up a little bit with some air in it. Uh, we're gonna dive back into the nose and see if it's changed at all and how much so. Wow, it's definitely sweeter now. Uh, there is some definitely multi notes on it that you would find maybe in some uh, Highland scotches. I mean, that's not like a peated scotch with the maltiness. You know, obviously it's malted rye, and it's it's uh, it's kind of got that maltiness to it, but it's not anything aggressive, you know, kind of the way um, Glen Morangy has a uh, maltiness to it. Wow, it's it's certainly nice, and it's got so many different layers to it. I just, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's definitely a little bit floral um, with the sweetness in there, and that vanilla is definitely there, like a floral vanilla flower. A little bit fruity, but I wouldn't even go f as far as to say uh, this particular fruit, just kind of that, that sweet fruitiness, uh, maybe like a, a green grape or something. Um, hmm. yeah, that smells amazing. It's funny because I wasn't expecting much from this whiskey and I don't know why, because all signs point toward yes. Malted, yes. Rye, yes. Six years, yes. A hundred proof, yes. Well, I mean, what else do you want out of a whiskey? But for some reason, I had it in my mind that this was going to be a little bit overhyped. It was going to be uh, just average. But, you know, it, it's it's above average. For a rye, I think, I honestly think this is my favorite rye on the shelf right now. Uh, I did get two samples uh, from Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. If you guys haven't checked them out, go do it. But that would be a barrel seagrass and an obtanium rye. Uh, so there's a chance I might enjoy one of those as well, but so far uh, this is this is high on the list I mean, this is fantastic Yeah, great stuff that being said it's time to give the bottle a grade and Honestly the MSRP on this bottle is around $60 uh, it's probably close to 55, but I got it for 60 which I mean again for this I would pay 60 all the time to have this on my shelf. If I ran out of a bottle, I'd probably be a little disappointed that I didn't have it on the shelf, but it's it's so good. Uh, being, that being said, $60, it's gonna have to get an A minus. For, for a ride that I actually thoroughly enjoy and all the complexities that come with it for $60, this is like something that I can't even compare it to. I wanted to compare it to 1920 being a uh, standalone, the amount of bang for your buck that you get for this bottle of rye, but it's not a typical rye, so I can't even put it in that category of an amazing rye for a great price because it's malted rye. So it's funny because the notes of it aren't strictly rye-y as much as they're that sweet, delicious maltiness mixed with some of those great rye notes that people get with the the spice and floralness of a rye. So that being said, A minus on this bottle. If you haven't found one, I suggest you go looking and definitely keep your eye out. If you see one, it's a, it's a must buy. Honestly, it is. Uh, that being said, if you guys like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, leave a comment in the comment section. If you've had this, particular bottle or if you've had the batch from uh, fall of last year let me know if there's any difference if you've had them both if you've noticed a difference between the two of them 
that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I'll see you guys in the next class.